What is going on everybody? Tanner Fiverr here with Fiverr Football. How are you guys doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Today I am talking about the best landing spots for recently released Broncos running back Melvin Gordon. Uh, he was an original uh, what round was he drafted? First round draft pick or third round? I don't know. He was drafted by the Chargers in 2015. I know that. Um, one thing you guys should know about me if you're new here, I'm just your average NFL fan who loves to talk about football and loves to give you my opinions the best that I can. I'm not your really great YouTube maker, so if you guys are looking for that, go somewhere else. Just kidding. Please subscribe. Let's just get into it, okay? Melvin Gordon, to me, has the best potential fits right now for the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams, not specifically in that order. And I'm going to give you my reasoning on why these are the best landing spots or best potential teams for him. Um, first, let's go over what Melvin Gordon has done in his career. This season, though, was not has not been his best, okay? He's only started six games. He's appeared in all 10. Um, 318 yards and two touchdowns, just not great. He's only averaged 3.5 yards per carry this season, and he's averaged 4.1 in his career. But he does have, let's see, 55 career rushing touchdowns and 14 career receiving touchdowns. Pretty good. Um, he did have that really good, I think it was the 2018 season where he had 10 rushing touchdowns and, uh, and in 2017 he had 1,100 yards rushing. Here's the thing about Melvin Gordon. That was the only season he's ever had with over 1,000 yards rushing. The closest he's ever come again to 1,000 yards was in 2016. He had 997 and in 2020 he had 986 yards. So. He's only passed 1,000 yards rushing one time in his career, um, and he, there for a while with the Chargers, was this like kind of workhorse guy, and he got a lot of goal line carries. Um, in my opinion, if you're averaging over four yards per carry in your career as a running back, pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, and I'm going to go over now why I think he's the best potential fit for the two teams that I said earlier, the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. The Arizona Cardinals, I say, because I believe they've gotten rid of two running backs within the last, I want to say, five to ten days. They have released two. Um, they have running back James Conner, who is always a question mark when it comes to his availability and his health. I really like James Conner. I think he's dynamic and he's good. He's explosive and he's so good catching the football. He's he, he's got he's got all the weapons. He just can't stay healthy. I don't count on him to stay healthy. That's what my issue is with James Conner. They also have uh, Keontae Ingram. I'm not really sure who that is. Um, Daryl Williams, I believe, was put on season-ending IR. And they have Corey Clement, who I think was kind of recently signed. So they don't have the best running back room at all. And the Arizona Cardinals could use a guy to help take some pressure off of James Conner. They did release Eno Benjamin, Benjamin, and I believe he was claimed by somebody else. Uh, don't take my word on it. And then they released somebody else today, and I don't think it was Keontae Ingram. It was somebody else, but they did release another running back. So they're just kind of in this little pickle right now with not the best running back room. And like I said, your RB1, James Conner, is always a question mark to, to when it comes to his availability. Now you've got the Los Angeles Rams. Um, yes, they do have Cam Akers, who's presumably right now their running back one, which is the exact situation he was asking for. So they got rid of uh, his competition, really. Uh, Daryl Henderson was released today, and he cleared waivers and is now a free agent, I believe, or no, he was just released today. Melvin Ingram cleared waivers today. Um, they also have that rookie Kyron Williams, but here's the thing. They've only got two running backs on their roster, Cam Akers, Kyron Williams. This could be a big, big fit for the Los Angeles Rams. They were not going to place a claim. No team, I don't think, placed a claim on Melvin Ingram because of his contract. I think he was due still like a million dollars or close to one million dollars. Um, they're probably going to try to sign him to a more team-friendly contract or something if they do offer him a deal. But I think a team like the Los Angeles Rams kind of need that run game going like I said they do have Cam Akers and Cam Akers was a huge hot trade 
name that was bouncing around this, this season uh, towards the deadline, but it was never dealt. Um, and then he was inactive for several games. So I'm not really sure what his relationship is like with the Rams, but it's not solid. Um, so they either got rid of all of his competition so Cam Akers could get what he wants and be the RB1, or they're still in a kind of shaky, and that's just the way it's played out. But Melvin, Melvin Gordon would not be an, uh, a bad option. And I don't know if I've been saying Melvin Ingram or not, so don't judge me. Um, but the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals are the two teams that I see a big potential fit for Melvin Ingram, regardless of his fumble issues. But we're just going to have to see how it plays out, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm probably going to have to edit this video quite a bit, but appreciate you guys. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, especially if you made it this far. And stay sweet as always. See you guys later.